Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Today we are going to be making a no-bake oatmeal cookie. Let's get started on today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. Today I am bringing you a no-bake cookie that's fun, easy, and quick and does not heat your house up unbelievably. Uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Misty of Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. We live in North Texas and our main AC is out. We have air conditioners in the bedroom, so I'm trying to do videos that uh, don't heat my entire house any more than it already is. We have an air conditioner coming on the, on the way, but with supply chain issues and all that stuff. All right, first thing you're gonna need is two cups of oatmeal. Now, you can use quick oats. I'm using old-fashioned oats because that's what I had in my pantry and I didn't, we weren't gonna go buy anything else for this recipe. It'll work just fine. I'm, <laughs> I'm adding a fourth of a cup of baking cocoa. We're just gonna whisk that around, mix it up a little bit. Then I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla and two thirds of a cup of crunchy peanut butter. Now, if you don't like the crunchy, uh, leave it out. It's fine. Just add regular peanut butter. I'm sure that other butters would work in here. So if you don't like peanut butter, but you like almond butter or something like that, you could use that. We're gonna add about a half a bag, three and a half ounces of the, this toasted coconut. You can use whatever coconut you want. This, again, this is what I had on hand, and I mean toasted coconut, come on. It's about a half a bag. I'm just eyeballing that. Okay, now we wanna just mix all this together. And at this point, it doesn't have to be perfectly beat up. You just want it kinda sorta melted together a little bit, cause we're gonna be adding hot liquid on top of it. So it'll all come together. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna show you here, and then we're gonna go over to the stove and do this. All right, you need a half stick of butter. I am using uh, salted butter, because I like, you know, salt is not a bad thing right now. <laughs> And it also helps bring the flavor out. But if you wanted to use unsalted, I would suggest that you go ahead and put a dash of salt into it. Um, a half a cup of milk and two cups of sugar. Now, I'm sure you could use honey here and it'd be a little bit more healthy. Um, I would say you know, just use your own discretion on that. We're gonna take it over to the sto stove. We're going to get it hot. We're gonna boil it for one minute and then I'll bring you back over here and we'll mix all this up together and we'll scoop it out. Start counting. One, two, three, four, five, three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. Take it off your heat. Okay, we're gonna take our mixture and we're gonna pour it onto our oatmeal and peanut butter mixture. We're gonna mix it up. I've got a cookie sheet with some wax paper here. Not wax. A cookie sheet with some parchment paper. I'm gonna take 
my cookie scoop. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of these scooped up. We'll be back in just a second. So these turned out extremely well, and I hope you'll give them a try. It didn't overheat the kitchen any more than it already is around here. Thank you for joining us today on Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. These were really easy and quick to make. Now we're gonna pop them in the refrigerator um, because it's too hot to leave them out on the cabinet and hope they'll set. So we're gonna do that. But thank you so much for joining us today on Mama Z's Texas Kitchen. We'll see you guys on the next video.